Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. Throat's not amazing, so bear with me. It's the day after Clean Fest and the day that I got back from Whitestock. All the stuff's out of the van and the grass had just been cut at Clean Fest. So we're putting the gazebo up. Gonna give it a quick maintenance and a quick wash. So once we've got all this done, I'll come back to you and give you a brief for the week. Okay, we got the chemical upstairs. As you can see, the grass gets everywhere. So all this needs cleaning and restocking on the shelves. You've got to go up, and I'm part way through. I'm just now working on the 100 mils. Jamie doesn't like me messing this up, so I'm going to put them all in and then square these up. Looking lovely. Little tip for anyone that's in this industry. We stack all our stuff that could be damaged in transit in between our microfibers to keep them so fresh and so clean. Ding! And it's here. The M3 has arrived. Gonna do a protection detail on that and sort out the interior for a pre-sale. And a pallet of buckets has arrived. So we just gotta sort them out. We will get them online soon, I promise. The BMW is inside. Scott has glazed that and just removed the glaze as we speak. And I have begun to get back onto the Z floor. Took Z floor? Z4. <laughs> Me and Jamie have just done all the assessing from Waxdog and from the show at the weekend. So he is now next door, ordering all the bits and pieces we need to get ready for Ignition Festival of Speed or Festival of something. It's going to be a good show. Three days in Glasgow. Really looking forward to that one. First time we're going to have a shell set up. Not entirely sure how we're going to do the branding, but I will try and have a meeting this afternoon and take you guys through that with me. If I had a bucket, I would fill it in the morning. It's not really a song, I just made it up, but... Jamie's currently setting up the two bucket kits. We have them all pre-made, so we just do them as a kit. Two buckets, two scratch guilds, go! 22 pound, that's a scratch guild deal. Getting these ready for a show season. BMW is done. Just got to do a couple little things and take it outside and take some pictures for the customer as he's selling it, and then... This one is nearly done with cutting. Gonna have to take it out for a wash. Been quite a heavy cut on this one. You have seen the damage that's on it. Been using the rupee system microfiber in a couple of places as well. That's it. It's just past five o'clock and I'm not gonna lie, I am shard still from the weekend. Still running on this incredible high that is or has been wax stock. And I'm probably gonna pass out the moment my head hits that pillow. So I'll see all you guys in the morning. Ciao. Good morning, vloggers viewers still not sure what you guys are that watch these vlogs it is tuesday and i'm not gonna lie we've already been in i kind of forgot to vlog you would have thought by now with me doing them i would remember but i came in this morning and was so focused on getting last week's vlog and the wax stock vlog sorted that i forgot all about doing it sorry so what's happening? Scott is working on the final little touches on the M3 and then we've just got to take a picture of this for the customer as it's pre-sale. So if you like the look of this, get in touch. Be nice. Still working on the Z4. I was just around the tail end when I remembered that um, I had the video for you guys. And Jamie is doing orders. peek a -boop. I'll tell you what though, there was one funny thing about this morning's orders. What is that? Where is that? Ashby de la Zoo. BMW's done. It's time for the wheelie stool. We have a little A3 in for maintenance pallet and look at that. Die bugs die. MAPC doing its thing. It's three o'clock and there's another car in. We had a maintenance valet silver. Excuse me, on this Vauxhall this afternoon. Check that color out. Lush, this came in for an enhancement and G Technic coatings. Customer's doing a great job looking after that one. Also, been doing a lot of work in the computer, so yeah, it's gonna be a couple of night shifts to get this one done and ready. Tonight, I'm smashing the paperwork, so we'll see what happens. This one, I've got two hours though. Let's go, go, go. Morning, everyone. I think it's gonna be a good day. Time is half six in the morning. Yes, I'm still not managing that gym thing. Me and Sarah were speaking about that last night, actually, just sorting a bit more time out of what's going on here. 
So, what have I done this morning? Well, last night I stayed and got loads of admin stuff done, which is great. I got a little list of things to do, but look, these are reduced. I promise. I know that's boring, but it literally took till half past ten last night to get that done, if not nearly eleven o'clock. <sighs> Let's go and have a look in the shop. So, the Z4. It's pretty much there guys, just got a little bit more to do with Scott and then we're going to get that coated as it's hopefully getting picked up tomorrow. But I'm going to work a late shift to get that done anyway, so hoping to show you a couple of things on that and the feature video is going quite well with it as well. Need to get the files into the computer and double check I've got all the shots I need and then if I need to, shoot them again. Also, we're hoping, I think it does, the little BMW uh, 135, is that the one just blow the one in? Yeah. The stunning red is coming in today. That's actually the winner of the service that we gave away at the Christmas Open Day. So it's going to be a protection detail and then all the bolt on. So I'm pretty sure it's engine bay, G1, uh, C5 wheels off package, interior, and uh, protection detail. So we're going to do that over the next couple of days. Hopefully, it arrives here around about 1 2 ish. We'll get some of the elements done, giving us a head start on the Thursday. I can never remember what day it is. Why is that? Also in the super duper debrief of whatever happened last night and is coming up, all of this is coming with us to ignition. I've went and hired a bigger van. We were looking at, don't get me wrong, I love the AM detail setup that we have at the shows. You know the set I'm talking about. The one that's on the gazebo and then we usually have our nice, we just got the metal open show and shine black racking. And we've got all our pull-out drawers, a little pop-up side table. I think when you're out and about on a road show, it just looks sweet. But since I went to Waxstock and had a look at everyone's setups there, I'm thinking this is our first indoor show with a shell setup. It's over three days, and I'm fairly sure it's going to be the largest footfall we've ever had at a show. Now, it's not a come-by car care type show like Waxstock, and I'm not entirely sure if it's even going to be something like Scottish car show where we've got lots of car enthusiasts in that area. But we have to be prepared for anyone. There could be media people there. It is run from the guys that do Top Gear Live after all. There's going to be all ages there. There's going to be all different types of car enthusiasts. So we just want to up our game a little bit instead of using the mobile rig. Basically, pack down the front of the shop, shove it in a bigger van and take it with us to the show. And even though I have my own van, I love my little limited van, checked out fleet management services. Thank you very much guys, they're just over here now. We're gonna build a nice new premises over the other side. And they hooked me up, they are fellow Murray Chamber members. Uh, so I got myself a long wheelbase sprinter van. So that big five by five we got in the front will fit in and we're still trying to work out what else we're gonna take. As well as that, Jamie's shot himself up to Ronnie's at Design and he's just getting us some more fresh branding stuff made so we can just make the shell um, look a bit more AMD rather than a shell with us moving half our furniture into it. I know, I probably sound really self-critical here, but you know when you just feel you're not there? You feel everyone else that goes is going to look better and they're going to be on their edge. So we're just trying our best to make the brand look super sweet when we get there and uh, hopefully that'll then turn into sales. And with that being our next show, and another two big shows coming up, Jamie has been on crazy mode in making chemical. I mean, we've got boxes of this stuff just lying around everywhere. The boy's relentless. So much so, I just had to order another pallet of 5 new mill bottles yesterday. The 100 mils, that's because we've got some people coming at Christmas for you all. Ding. And them cobalt 100 mils, so they're all whizzing their way here. I'm hoping they're going to arrive today. So I hope that debrief has helped to run you up to where you are and then why. There's not been a lot of car work getting done, but I'm saying a lot of the time I've been doing paperwork or having meetings. It's because we've been doing pretty much projecting till the end of the year what's happening and trying to get prepared for it. I've also got Craig at Business Gateway coming today and we're going to have a look at just developing a couple of processes and stuff to make that easier for me so that I'm maybe not having as much time here or just making my time more efficient or we can divide a couple of things around the team and get the guys working on a couple of other projects. Welcome to business.
That's the Jensen now and we are well underway. Jamie has got all your orders on and he's now upstairs still doing uh, ignition prep. He's been doing quite a cool design and that looks very good. Scott's been on the car but I have now stolen him. As we're about to do some filming to shoot that MX-5 intro and possibly going to dive over to do a q and I'm in a meeting at the moment so the boys have been busy. I've just popped out to Nittaloo and get a brew and look what's arrived. All them bottles I was telling you about. So the 500ml are here, we've got some 100ml bottles and the new cobalt ones are here which is going to be for that scents that are brand new. Ching! This is the Z4. Outside for his D-Dust wash. We're finally there. Yes. Hey there guys. It is boom. Quarter past five. Tomorrow's BMW's in. Guess what this is? That was your time to guess. This is the Christmas Open Day winner. It's finally come to claim their prize. So that's in for a protection detail. Wheels off, G1, engine bay, and interior for free. They did that by just doing our raffle that we do at Christmas. Bet you're all gonna to come to the Christmas raffle day this year now. What else is happening? I've just coated the bonnet and the roof, roof on the Z4. Finally, I'm just gonna get a quick bite to eat and then I'm gonna come back out and finish this this evening. Okay, so. Hmm. Five past ten. Quite a lot going on. Coatings are done in the Z4. Got the magical Eon. He's trying to hide in around there. He's helping do little bits like cleaning up the ramp and cleaning up the sides. Honestly, this is tidier than it was before. I promise. Uh, to get ready for the wheelie stool and stuff. And we have Fish Tank Dog in. Check out his friends, helpers, and family only top. Sorry, guys. But he's rescaping the fish tank. Let's go have a look. So you guys come in and see it looking all sexy, like the magical fish fairies have been. Well, his name is Doug when a full blown landscape comes. And this is how it looks when you've done a half tank water change. Just to let you know, that's roughly 350-ish litres of water have come out and gone back in. It's a lot of water. So in the morning, once the filter has worked its magic, hopefully this is gonna look beautiful. There's all the happy fish. So I'm still here. It is five to 11. Check out what's going on in the fish tank since the water change. These two are having a right display of dominance. Look. Pew, pew. I wouldn't like to be stuck in the middle of that fight. Oh, the big lads come in and sort them out now, I think. There's another cat in there now. <laughs> I think it's mainly because we've moved everything around so everyone's original little homes are now gone, so they're all like, I'm wanting the spot underneath the log. No, I want the spot underneath the log. Mm, nah, he wants a bit. Who knows who'll win? <laughs> I'll keep you up to date. And whilst Jamie is away, let's show you what he's been up to today. AM seal, anyone? <laughs> also, we've got all them bottles upstairs. Remember them? And some large boxes full of product because we've run out of cases <laughs> he's made so much product it's good though this is going to see us through ignition and the next three shows hopefully which then means we can move jamie to car care and developing a couple of new chemical projects scenes to music pew, pew, scenes to music pew, pew. just thought i'd give you guys a look at the z4 scenes to music pew, pew. i'm hoping that it's still here tomorrow but the customer may want to come and pick it up he hasn't got back to us yet so I thought I'd give you guys all a wee tour and we're done place left Z4 it is quarter past tomorrow quarter past today quarter past 12 for all you the ones who know the normal time when I'm trying to be bosh there is the little one. Can't wait to see what the guys do with that. Tomorrow I'm away for an MRI scan, guys. Not entirely sure what will happen, but I know I'm not coming into work in the morning because I'm doing this shift, but I'll see you all in the afternoon. Hiya! It is 20 past two on the Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. I've just been away. Aberina had an MRI scan today. So, what has been going on? Gentlemen have had the BMW in. 
the wheels are off. There's a coat of AM seal on there, curing away. Scott's on the interior, and Jamie is just doing two of the wheels from the outside. So I am about to start coating these with C5. The wheels are coated. Ding! Ding! So it's time to raise this thing up and get them fed. I've also brought some of our AMD custom boxes over, and the boys are restocking them upstairs. It is. <laughs> the watch is halfway up my arm, it would appear. Five to four. Got an hour to smash this one out. How good are these? BMW Thursday. Looks excellent, doesn't it? Ooh, it was a bit to see. One series is just waiting on the G1 drying, and then we can whip it off. But look at it. It's a beauty. Single day package. Guys done a great shift on that one. We're just tidying up the unit and getting ready so that tomorrow we just push everything outside. Wheel is still this one, picture it, customer collects. Wheel is still one, picture it, customer collects roughly, lunchtime. Good morning. It doesn't really do work the same when you're looking at me instead of looking at the sky, is it? It is 27 and I'm going to pick a van up this morning that we've got to try and then remove some paint overspray on. So uh, let's go get it. So what else has happened? Once I pick this up, we'll get back. And then I need to clear the bay out. Wheelie stool and picture both the both the cars. And then hopefully, we did a little test area, so it was quite easy to remove the overspray that's on this van. And then hopefully remove this overspray. Customer picks up the one series first thing in the morning-ish. Hopefully around about eight, half eight. And then the XFR is coming in at 12 for a maintenance valet gold. And the Z4 is leaving around about one, just because our train times work. So it's gonna be a bit tight juggling the bay. Need to get all this done before five o'clock, as uh, it's my first weekend off in a long time, so we've got plans. As well as that, I've just noticed this morning, I have like 15 unread messages on Instagram. For some reason I'm not getting the notification on that anymore, so I think I'm going to delete and put my Instagram in there, so really sorry. <laughs> I'm going to do it live to this. If uh, if you guys missed my messages, but I'm going to go and do that the moment I'm back at the unit. Get through the emails, and then when Jamie comes in, he can do the orders, and he'll be helping me on car care initially unless it's quite easy to get the van sorted then you can go back up to ignition prep because ignition prep is still crazy i think the quotation last night was i'm a quarter of the way through it and realistically jamie's in tomorrow but when you're covering the shop you can't really be up upstairs all the time and then we've got monday tuesday wednesday next week scott's off today a little bit of holiday time but good lady have a good time scott um and that's it so Let's go grab this van. Found it. Let's go back to AMD. It's bucket filling time for the van. But what else have we been up to this morning? Because it's already five past nine. Well, I've pictured and wheelie stooled these two beauties. Look how good they look when they're clean bay. Nice. Nice. And Jamie has sorted all your orders. I've also just been looking at the shots I took before so that I've managed to shoot the same shots afterwards, hopefully, of it nicely enhanced. Yeah. I managed to do all them little videos and I still never overflowed my buckets. Ding! What's the challenge on this then? Hopefully, if I can get this to focus, you guys can see there are tiny little bits of blue paint all over this white van. We're going to clean it up and then hopefully see if we can remove all this blue. The reason this has stopped abruptly and gone less is because on Friday I had to go to a and &E. I had a Crohn's flare up. Uh, you can't, when you watch a video back you can see I'm not looking really that amazing in the morning when I picked up the camera. Tried to put a brave face on everything but I was actually in quite a lot of pain. So what ended up happening, I tried to do the best I could in work but then Jamie ended up telling me off and saying go home. 
so I went home, chilled out for a bit, tried to uh, rest, it wasn't really working, so then took myself off to A&E. From then, the amazing staff at Dr. Gray's looked after me at A&E. Uh, some drugs went in, some inspections went in, and it turns out I've just got myself a little infection, but what's happened with that is it flared my Crohn's up. So I did a little overnighter um, at the hospital. I just want to thank everyone at A&E and everyone at AMAU, which is Acute Medical Assessment Unit. Yes, got that right. Uh, fantastic, really looked after me. Um, made me feel a whole lot more comfortable. And then I got home um Saturday afternoon, I think, and then just chilled out with some family that I've got visiting up here. So that is why this one's a little bit short. I'm feeling better this week. Just gonna watch what I'm doing, which is easy to say as we've got the um, run up to ignition. Ugh. But anyway, I'll leave all that because technically this is still last week's vlog and none of this has happened. <laughs> but um, yes, I just wanted to finish off with that one, guys. I've also been doing a lot of work. A little bit.